In this video, I'm gonna show you some free BIM and Revit tools that can save you time. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, of course, if you're starting out, free tools are great, but also keep in mind that they're also very useful when uh, you have to pitch a certain tool to your company so it can get adopted. Now, let me show you. Now, this can be applied to any Revit element, but let's take a look at the typical situation in which you linked a CAD or Revit file, but you can't really find it because it was inserted in the wrong location. So what you would do is uncrop the view and do zoom extents. And you see that the elements are so far apart that you can't really find them. Now, what you would do is head over to your project browser, select all instances, and now that it's selected, you see that the Revit link is selected and you can uh, head over to your add-ins and zoom to selection and there you have it. Now this tool is especially useful when uh, setting up projects and for this one all you need is to place your scope boxes uh, with the right name and location. Now as you can see on the screen I created uh, my scope boxes which are A, B, and C and now we can uh, head over to the add-ins dependent views and we can select our views and our scope boxes and select our view template. Now you can only select one view template at a time which means that we'll have to deal with uh, one group of views at a time. Now don't forget to set the delimiter so that the final view name is the one you want. And then we can go ahead and create dependent views. And as you can see, the tool created the views based on the scope box that we defined with the right name. Now I'm going to quickly recreate the process for the furniture plans, just so you can see how this could be replicated. Now for this workflow, I'm going to assume that you have some uh, set work sets that you use in all your projects. I went ahead and created a list of sample work sets just so I could do a copy to clipboard. And as you can see, we start from the default work set state. So you'll head over to the tool and then collaborate, work set, create multiple work sets. And all, all you have to do here is uh, paste from the clipboard and run. And now all the work sets have been created. Now keep in mind that if you wanna have more control over this procedure, I created a video on how to create work sets automatically with Dynamo, link in the description. Now, as you can see, I created a copy of uh, floor plan level one, and the copy one version has a different crop region. So I wanna make sure that the, the two match. So all we have to do is uh, head over to the floor plans tool and uh, select match crop region. Now, in this screen, you'll just have to select the reference view, which is floor plan level one, and then look for all the views that you'd like to match the crop region to. I'm selecting the copy one and then when I run it, you see that now the crop regions match. Now with this tool, you can bulk rename views and this process is very similar as the search and replace within Excel. So all you have to do is um, head over to the tool and under views, you can uh, search and replace. And now you can uh, select the views that are in your scope and of course, you can define the search string and then the text that you want to replace. And then you just hit run. For example, one of the typical situations is to replace floor with level or level with floor. And if you have lots of views, this is a tool that's going to save you a lot of time. Now this tool is particularly effective when trying to clean up views like drafting views and floor plans and sections. And essentially what it does is aligning different kinds of objects. Now, I won't go through all the individual buttons, but instead I'm gonna show you the typical situation in which you have a detail with some text notes that are not aligned. Now, all I need to do here is distribute vertically so that these notes are equally spaced and align to the left, just so that all the leaders are aligned. Now, Forgeify has actually a couple of interesting tools, and uh, one is the My Notebook. 
And what it is, is a set of notes that you can uh, gather within your project. And you can save them based on your username. And it keeps a log of when that note was taken. And you can actually export it as a CSV file. Now the second tool is the filter selection. And this I found extremely powerful because as you can see, you're able to, for example, go through different categories, including rooms. The tool actually zooms to show you those rooms in relationship to one another. And you can expand and collapse the structure so that you can get to individual instances, including seeing the element ID. Now we just uh, looked at the rooms, but you also have access to other categories. For example, now I'm selecting several different floors just so I can show you how the tool zooms in for you and identifies different elements in relationship to one another. Now, as you may know, cat imports can create issues in your Revit file, so it's always preferable to have cat links instead. Now, the first thing I do is uh, head over to manage, manage links and cat formats and uh, make sure that I don't have any links loaded in. And because I just made sure that there were no cat links, I know for a fact that that is a cat import, so we can easily delete it. Now, when we run the tool a second time, you'll see that you won't be able to analyze it further because there are no more cat imports left. Question of the day, what are some favorite free tools that you use and that you would like to share? I'm always looking to find new free tools. Let me know in the comments. Now, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.